welcome to Mike's Diabetes World. You know, the debate over vaccines and all that has really kind of got me a little perturbed. Now, ever since the late 60s and into the 70s, you know, that's a holistic kind of care and everything. But if your son or daughter, or even yourself, has type 1 diabetes, it's a damn good idea to get taken care of. You need to be able to treat your son's or daughter's diabetes with respect. And part of it is getting a flu shot or any other vaccines that are quite prevalent. Now, the reason for it is to stop you from getting sick. And, you know, oh well, we all just have to learn how to get sick so our body can fight things off. Well, the virus does the exact same thing. Allowing you to not get sick in the first place is just something easy to do. Now, 2014? Or was it 2013? No, it was 2014. Over Christmas, I got sick and I was like really sick. I hadn't been this sick. I mean, I ha I've had migraines because of low blood sugar. But this was going on for days, and, you know, I didn't really have a major headache, so what the hell could this be? I got the flu virus, and that just affected me. Oh, God. Um, I had to go to the hospital, and I didn't leave the hospital for nine months. Nine months, you say? Bloody hell. <laughs> but since that time, I have got the flu shot. And my doctor kind of said beforehand, well, why had you not ever got the flu shot? I don't know. And... The problem is, when a diabetic gets sick, and we've discussed this before, things don't go so well. And you can get very sick. Now, the next time things happened, my leg was infected and we kind of, I was on antibiotics. I was seen by the wound care team and you know everything oh hum everything's going to be great. And I guess over the time I was showing some higher blood sugars. They weren't astronomical, but I didn't bother testing. Ah. And I got severely ill. Now, infections, if it happens, you can't really do anything about. But colds, flus, you can do whatever you have to. You know, use um, hand sanitizers. You know, wear a mask out in cold and flu. Yes, I know we just got through a whole period where wearing masks all the time. And, oh, I don't want to wear a mask. I believe the body is the best fight we have against it. But if you're diabetic, you're going to end up in trouble. 
I had an awful lot, an awful lot, I guess, of the four doctors that originally saw me, they said, we didn't think you were coming out of this. And... I was just really sick. And I can remember my friend here saying, oh, well, we're going to have to call an ambulance. I'm calling an ambulance. Oh, I'm fine. Don't bother. And they showed up and they did a blood test. And oh, my God. I was high, and then somehow I don't. They determined the ketone test, and I was showing nice big ketones. So my body was saying, hey, I don't have enough stuff to get energy. So the whole point of this video is to sort of push on you the importance of, you know, hand washing, especially before you eat. Oh, yeah. But colds and flus get transferred. And I'm always doing this with my mouth. And I don't know, it's a thing in the back of my mind, I guess. But any time your body isn't up to your norm, do a ketone test. You need to be able to have a cap on everything. If you're showing high ketones, and I'm not a doctor, so... Check it out with your doctor, as I said before. You require insulin. And, you know, people laugh and, oh, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. People have died from DK, and I was probably damn close to doing it. I was in and out of acute no, I cute care. What's the word for it? I can't think of the word. But it's between ICU and the regular wards. High acuity unit. You know, I kept going back and forth. And... <sighs> we all, as adults, are kind of being pushed every day to oh well nope you're expected to show up for work you could have a bad case of the flu i think even if you had a case of the mumps oh i expect you to show up for work your body when it doesn't produce insulin responds to illness completely different. Take care of yourself, you know. Make sure you get your flu shot. Um, take vitamins or whatever you believe that will help or whatever your doctor prescribes for you. You want to ensure that all your defenses are up. And if they don't, and if something sneaks in, treat it as soon as possible. If you're finding that you're not keeping anything down, and you're visiting the washroom, and you're just so tired, you know, well, maybe it's time you got things taken care of. And... Don't just second guess everything because things are only going to get worse and you're going to probably end up in the hospital. 
Now, every case is different, and I don't want you to think, oh my God, he has the sniffles. Oh, I've got to take him to emergency. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying monitor yourself if you're finding you're drinking more or you're getting the normal symptoms of diabetes, get it checked out. If you're showing ketones, get it checked out. Don't wait until, oh, I'm so sick. Uh, you're worth it. You take control of your diabetes. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now.